back Vikings. This is a tutorial on how to complete the computer model assignment in Code HS. Let's check it out. So this project, you have to pick a specific kind of computer. You want to have at least two pictures of the computer itself. Include at least one picture of the people who created it. Find a picture of it and label its parts. You want to create a 5 to 10 slide slideshow presentation and upload it to CodeHS here. You want to answer all these questions under guideline. If you do all those things, then you'll get full credit on the project. Let's see how you can make a slides presentation. So you can see here that there are some directions that list what you can do. I'm going to show you how to open up this stuff and how to do the sharing permission. We're going to create some Google Slides. You're going to click on the share button to share with others. And then you'll click on the advanced button and go to where it says private only you can access. Click on change and then set it to anyone with the link can access. And then after you do that, you can post the uh, Google Slides link to uh, this assignment and then you can make it to where people can see it. Uh, it's not a group project per se. You can work on this on your own. However, if you have somebody that you want to work on this with, if you know somebody in class that you want to work on it with, I will accept it if you want to, uh, to pair up. I've found that so far assigning people to groups has been a bunch of, a bunch of terror. People get matched up with people that don't do any work whatsoever. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to force groups on people. But if you have somebody that you want to work with, you can work together with somebody else to be able to make your presentation. Let's talk about how to get a slide working. So the first thing you want to do is uh, go to your Google Drive. So I'm just going to open up Google here. And then if you go up here to the top right, you'll see this little thing that's like a waffle. It's like a, a, a three by three grid of nine dots. If you click on that, you'll see something that says Drive. And this is how we open up Google Drive. So go ahead and go to your Drive. And then from there, you can create a new Google Slide. So up here on the top left, you'll see something that says New. You can click on that. And then you can go down to where it says Google Slides. All right, cool. So I'm going to click on Google Slide. And now it creates a new Google Slide presentation for me. On the far right side, I can choose my theme, so I can make it look like what I want. There's a whole bunch of already made themes that you can look for. You can also go over here on the bottom right where it says import theme, and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of other things that I could potentially use. Oh, look at that. There's some funny ones in here. You can, uh, you can import new themes if you want from other people. Like, <laughs> like uh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm just going to pick a basic theme here. So you click on this, and you'll see that it changes your background, and it changes stuff that you can see here. Now, the first thing that you probably want to do is go up here to the top left where it says Untitled Presentation, and you want to change its name. So I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to start with my name. I'll put McDowell, and then uh, this presentation is Computer Model. So I'll put that in the name itself that you see up here. So I put McDowell Computer Model up here on the top. Make sure that you change the name of your, of your project. Anytime that you make any change to your Google Slides, it should save automatically. So you don't have to worry about saving things. It's just going to be uploaded to your drive automatically. So I'm going to start by clicking on the title here. And I'm going to type uh, Computer Model Project. And then you can put in what kind of computer you're going to make, make in a presentation on. So remember, you can do something that's a drone, you can do something that's uh, a quantum computer, you can do a computer from back in the day that we learned about, like the, the differential engine or the analytical engine, or the ENIAC, or the MANIAC, or the UNIVAC, or you can go to like the first personal computers, like the 386DX. You can talk about maybe the first computer that you ever had, you can do uh, video game console systems in theory, those are also computers. Um, I'm going to show you just as an example here, Sophia. Sophia the robot. And really it's like the an android, really is what she's like. 
And then you can also add subtitles. So down here where it says click to add subtitle, I can put my name. There we go. And if you had if you had a multiple people, you could put that in there as well. So there we go. Now how do I add more slides? How do I add more things in here? Over here on the left hand side, you'll see this long list of, of stuff that you could add in. So I'm going to right click in the side over here and you can see that you can add new slides. So you can also press control M to do this. So I'm just right clicking over here on this left margin and clicking on new slide. There we go. And now you can see that a new slide is created. Now you can actually change this, the way that this slide works and what you can put in here. There's all these different things that you can put right here. There's also layout. So look at this. Uh, I could go in here and I could insert images or insert text boxes, insert shapes and lines. But there's also something here that says layout. And if I go to layout, you'll see that there's different types of things that I could put in. Like I can make it to where there's a title and a body. I could put a section header. I can put a title with two columns. And if you click on this, you'll see that it changes what your slide looks like. So if I go to layout, and go to add title here, you can see that I have this space over here on the side. Or I could go here, section title, subtitle. There's all these different ways that I can pick my slide to be. Look at this, a big number. If I wanted to make some point that had a big number on it. So this is a way for you to make a presentation where you could potentially uh, give a presentation where you could talk and talk about a, a concept and have this as a visualization for that, uh, that talk while you're giving the presentation. A good idea of something that you can do is uh, leave a little space for some pictures. So if you're, if you're going to put a picture in there, go ahead and choose the one column text. And then over here on the side, if you wanted to add a picture, you can do that by clicking on the insert image here. <clears throat> and then you can either upload from computer or search the web. So I'm gonna search the web here. And search for image, I'm gonna <coughs> search for Sophia the robot. And search for that image. And now we have all these different images that I could potentially use. So I'm gonna use Sophia the robot because it's interesting. There's a picture of Sophia right there. So I've selected it. Now over here on the right hand side I can click on insert and it's going to put that image into my into my presentation here. There we go, I've got this image of Sophia the Robot. And Sophia the Robot is interesting because she is uh, artificial intelligence and they have tried to, to match up facial expressions with uh, how she should be feeling at the time when you're asking her questions. Very interesting idea here um, so they're trying to they're trying to bridge this gap of having robots potentially able to do service work and uh, make them seem more lifelike and Sophia the robot is one of those interesting uh, examples of artificial intelligence being used in the public sector so right here if I if I wanted to create this now I know how to put images in I know how to change my backgrounds or my slides um, to change the format of them. So I can put who is Sophia the robot. And I could add some text in here. So uh, I would want to do a little research to find out uh, what Sophia the robot is. And I type out just some, some basic ideas of what Sophia the robot is. So Sophia, I could. Uh, I could find some information about her, so I'm just going to go into Google, and I'm going to search for Sophia the Robot. And I'll look a little bit, I'll, I'll do some research here, this is some Wikipedia stuff on Sophia. In October 2017, Sophia became a Saudi Arabian citizen who is the first robot to receive citizenship of any country. Ooh, wow, a robot has a citizenship? What an interesting idea. You can see, oh, look at, look at her internals here. She's got a zipper. <laughs> she wants to kill us all. Yeah, if you've seen the videos that ask 
they ask Sophia some questions and she does, she says some things that are kind of the joke about uh, destroying all humans. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. But check it out. Might be interesting to see. And she's not, she's nowhere close to being human level AI. She's really like a, one of the newer forms of it, but still not really, she's not that great. She's still new. But she's trying to be a social robot, so we can talk about that. But what are some other things that you could potentially t look at? Some other types of bots that are out there. It doesn't have to be a robot like this. You could do something like the analytical engine. And that was that thing that we learned about computer that is all based off of gears. One of the first computers ever created. There's also the difference engine, which is uh, the next version of the analytical engine. Even more impressive. We just recently were able to build one of these. Other things that are out there, check out drones. New, new types of drones. There's all kinds of them out there. There's some that have really good tracking capability. Look at this. There's some that can deliver packages. We're going to see a lot of stuff happening. There's a Department of Defense drones, like the Predator drones. They're dropping bombs on unsuspecting people. Making people fear open, clear skies across the nation. There's all kinds of interesting types of technology out there. There's the, uh, the NSA headquarters. They've got all kinds of uh, kind of some extreme. <laughs> this is like a <laughs> this is just as silly as a Batman photo. Some other types of things are quantum computers. So quantum computers are very interesting. They have to be in as close to uh, zero Kelvin, that is, as, as close to absolute freezing as possible for them to work properly. It's got to be really cold where they are for them to work, but they may definitely change the way that things are. There's a lot of interesting types of computers out there. So do a little research, pick a computer that you want to know about, PlayStation 5, a lot of people seem to like the PlayStation 5, and it's a new type of computer as well, people tend to like looking at these things. There's of course the brain computer interface. So the brain computer interface, uh, let's see. Yeah. Got some interesting stuff too. Being able to interact with the computer using your brain instead of needing to uh, use a mouse and a keyboard. So there's a lot of options of what you could potentially pick. And you get to you get to pick it. And you get to do a little research on it and tell me what kind of uh, what kind of details do you have about it? You want to try to answer those specific. In Code HS, we just looked at what the uh, main things that you want to do are. You want to figure out who developed it, who built it, when it was done, what its purpose is, what are the input devices, what are the output devices, how do people interact with it, is the computer programmable, does it have memory, what kind of hardware does it have, and what kind of software would it support. If you have all those things, then you should be good. Now, how do I actually, once I'm done with this, how do I actually make it to where I can turn this in? Well, when you're all done, I'll just say so few details. You want to make around five to ten slides. Just keep on making new slides and add more information in there. It should be fairly simple to do. You can have a different slide for each one of those points that are listed uh, here. You can have a, a new slide for each one of these things: memory, computer programmable, input devices. So you could have.
could have one thing that it says what it is, and then say who developed it, who built it. All right, so let me go in here. Who developed Sophia? All right, and then I'll go to the next one. I'm gonna say when was Sophia developed? And then the next one would be what is Sophia's purpose? So I'd go back in here and I'd add a new slide and say what is Sophia's purpose? And so on. You want to do this for each one of those points here. What input devices does Sophia have? All right. Make a new slide. What are Sophia's input devices? What can I do to, to interact with Sophia? And what are her output devices. So I'd want to have a slide for each one of those questions, essentially. And I want to fill out the information, maybe add a picture for each one, try to make it look interesting. After we have all of our presentation done, you want to go up here to where it says share. Right now, only I can see this presentation. So you want to go up to the top right where it says share. Click on that. And then right here, it'll say share with people in groups. You don't want to say anybody specific. You want to make it to where you can make it to where anybody is able to see it with a link. So you want to go right here, change to anyone with the link. So I'll click on that. And now anyone on the internet with this particular link right here will be able to view your project. So you want to copy this link, click on the copy button right there. And then you want to go press done. Now I have it copied to my clipboard. So all I have to do now is go back to CodeHS. And in this section, I'll say, let's go here. You want to input the Google Slide ID. So I'm just going to click right here where it says Google Slide ID and press Control V. Paste it in there. And now it should be good. I can present it. Oh, if it says this, could not load the slide with that ID, you just have to take out this whole beginning part where it says HTTPS slash docs.google.com slash presentation, blah, blah, blah. Just take that out of there. Then it should work for you. There it is. And if you don't want it to say edit USP equals sharing, you can take that out as well. And then present it. And that will make it to where now just this part right here, this is the this crazy number and uh, crazy number symbols and stuff. This is just the identification for Google to get you to your, your presentation here. And then from here, you would have basically a slideshow presentation where you could present all the information that you found. And you can go forwards and backwards right here with your slide presentation. How many points is this? This is 20 points, Ezekiel. It says 25 points up here. I might make it 25 points because it's a little bit more than our previous projects that we've worked on. So it'll probably be 25 points. And this is all we're working on for this week. I don't have anything new coming up. I hope that you enjoy researching a uh, some type of computer, something that is interesting to you. It doesn't have to be Sophia the robot. It could be, there's, there's uh, all the different robots from, uh, from Boston Dynamics. So there's like Spot the robot. Very interesting. Spot Robot, you may have seen something like this before. These are very interesting style of, of uh, robots. There's also the Atlas Robot, which is also very interesting. Check out this Atlas, it's very cool. It's a humanoid bipedal robot. You may have seen Atlas do backflips or dance, do some dancing. There's also uh, pretty much any kind of computer that you want to research. You could talk about Gear VR or, uh, or the HTC Vive. Vive VR, there's virtual reality headsets. Oh, look at this. There's a walker support system for virtual reality. Wow. All kinds of stuff out there for you to be able to check out. You could look at drones, you could look at 
any kind of computer. <coughs> it can be something from a long time ago or something that's recent. You just got to make a presentation that's based upon that particular computer model. I hope that you have fun with this project. Uh, once you're all done, you can also share this link, this link that we have here. Um, you can copy this link and paste it into our Schoology assignment. So if you go to our Schoology assignment, go to the week five computer model section here. You can also submit that link to this uh, computer model. I want you to have that submitted and then also uh, complete the project in Code HS and take a screenshot that shows that you've done that. That's all that we have for this week. I hope that you can uh, complete this fairly easily, that you do a little bit of research on a computer that interests you and that you can show us a little bit about it as well.